you had in that third set where you guys had to um, recover from a deficit? Yeah, um, honestly, just leading on my teammates, just knowing that if we were going to do it, we were going to do it together. Um, and I just really appreciated all the confidence that they had in me to, and Ata Kylie had in me to feed me the ball. Um, I was feeling good in that third set. It took a minute. I think I started off slow in the first set, so my teammates really had my back um, throughout that game and just waited for me to start getting a hot hand and be able to put the ball away. So, honestly, all credit to my teammates. Coach, ano lang masabi niya sa naging composure ng team niyo ng third set? Ang layo nung hinabo, lalo na si Pangs na steady siya dun sa service line. Uh, siguro blessing sa amin yung, ano, yung nangyari, yung experience namin, yung, yung opportunity na uh, yung composure namin is tumaas, uh, maging maganda. Uh, kasi syempre yung, yung quarter finals lumalapit na. So magandang test sa amin yung nangyari kanina. So, yeah, ay katulad sa sabi ni Erica, yung teamwork nandun na. Yung experience nandiyan naman. Uh, siguro yung, yung reality ng paglalaro ng per six namin yung hinahanap na. Uh, Erica, this is your first time to play against Green Line Sister Team Chango Mucho. What can you say about the environment? And uh, I guess how did you stay calm throughout, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, honestly, that was like some of the most like I mean, hands down, the most fun volleyball environment I've ever been a part of. Um, so I knew coming into it that there were going to be a lot of fans, there were going to be a lot of eyes watching. Um, but kind of just wanted to focus on enjoying it because you know you never know um, if I'm ever going to play in a crowd or anything like that again. So um, just really enjoying the moment and then. I had a coach when I was like my last year of college at Georgia who kind of had this one saying, I hope I get it right, but it's play for the two, not for the 30,000. So um, basically you're playing the same game, whether it's like your two best friends just watching you in the gym and you're playing like loose, playing to have fun. Um, you, you, you're playing the same game as if you'd be playing in front of 30,000 people. So kind of just checking back into that and like we're playing a game that we love no matter how many people are watching. Um, so that kind of helped settle the nerves a little bit and then just really embracing like the number of fans that are here that love um, Chukumucho and Cream Line. Um, it's it's just honestly incredible the amount of people that love volleyball in the Philippines. So it's great. I think like going back like what two months ago when I first got here, um, I think it was a little bit daunting just hearing about you know how many fans Cream Line has and just like their history of success. Um, so I think there was a little bit of pressure. Um, also, this being my first um, like pro league, so coming out of college, so. Definitely two months ago, I think it was a little bit daunting, but I think I came into the best program that I possibly could for that sort of environment because one of the first things they said to me was just, they have no added pressure. They, Cream Line just plays, they want to keep it fun, they want to keep it light. Um, and so there's a reason why so many people love Cream Line, so many fans love Cream Line and why they're so successful. So I came into a program that just really made sure to emphasize that they're putting no extra pressure on me and to just go out there, have fun, enjoy the moment, enjoy being with my teammates. Um, so that's what I've focused on the past couple of months. Coach, yun yung hinahanap talaga namin, yung character ng as a team. So, lumabas naman ngayon, uh, sana mag, magpatuloy pa hanggang sa quarterfinals din para mag maganda yung mga laro namin. Naging test sa amin. Uh, Erica, you, you guys were down in the third set, as many as nine points. But you guys you know, made that run. I guess in that, in that run of yours, uh, was there a moment that you, where you felt like oh, we're, we're gonna make this comeback happen? Um. Honestly, I think the whole time we kind of believed that we could make the comeback happen no matter how big the deficit got. Um, we kind of just had faith in each other and just in our team that if we kind of kept our heads up and like just kept working point by point, um, I think we knew that we could come out of it. Um, and I think we knew that like energy and momentum was going to be a huge part of that comeback. Um, and you know, we made sure that we kind of kept that and worked towards that. So that was probably the biggest thing was just playing united and playing point by point. Coach, in the 